Canadians in their home whites, Rangers in their secondary jerseys as we're underway here from the Scotiabank Pond. Hampton has it, still on it with falls all over him. Hampton trying to get a shot away, poked out from underneath by Jaden Jackson as the Rangers will now control it in their own end. Harrison Reese sends it across to Maziars, up the middle for Hampton, coming in, good pass. Hampton shot scores. Great pass there by Joey Maziars up the middle as he finds Jonathan Hampton going in and he beats Christian Mattiacci. A good passing play there by the Rangers as Reese was able to settle it down, finds Maziars across. He goes up the middle for Hampton. The great skating ability there, getting by the Canadiens' defense. Ruderham will dig it out and now sends it across to Gottschalk as the Rangers try to get out. Ciccolini emphatically knocked that down. Rangers still have it though as it's brought back in by Connor Ruderham. He'll get it in deep around the Canadiens' net as Mattiacci using the glass got by Viola though. Ruderham a big shot that went in but they're going to say no goal as the whistle had blown. The Canadians try to poke it out and they do at center. Coming in hard was Pinio who falls down near the Rangers bench. O'Brien trying to take a run at Lashuk. He couldn't. And now Lashuk brings it in towards the net trying to jam it home. He does and they score. Rangers are going to take a 2-0 lead. Jeff Angelidis and Rick Verone are irate on the Canadiens bench, but it looks like a good goal. Nick Lashuk coming all the way in, took down Mattiachi with the loose puck in the blue paint and backhands it home. So the Rangers are gonna take a two nothing lead here. And now Maziars will send this forward off of the boards. It gets by Yemans, sent back by Kalisti off of the boards, controlled now by Reese. Hooks it up the middle, right back to Eamons. Now he spots Casey. Casey coming forward, trying to pass it off, shot away, poked at it. The initial stop by Mattiacci on the rebound. Rangers score. Off of that initial shot, it was stopped by the pad of Christian Mattiacci, but Aiden Casey burying it home for Casey. That's his seventh of the season. And the Rangers off to a 3-0 lead, not even two minutes into this second period. Mattiacci out of his net, sends it around to Redding. Leaves it there for Fulop, and now Fulop has some room. Up ahead, now to Redding. Nice spinorama there as he gets it deep into the Rangers' end. Alexander going to grab it, almost picked off. Now it is in front, they score! Oh, what a play! The Toronto Junior Canadians on the board here as it's Matt O'Brien who gets the goal. Alexander coughing it right up, and the pass right through to a streaking Matt O'Brien gets the Canadians on the board. It's 3-1, folks. Redding trying to get there in time to finally get out of his zone, and he does as Falls will bring it off of the glass, pushing it forward as Ruderham goes in to grab it up to head for Kuzman. That shot stopped by Alexander as Falls got a shot away. Here's Zebedee in the corner with the Cesaret. Ruderham pokes it out from underneath him and now taken down behind him with Zebedee. Falls trying to get a shot. Did Cesare does. It's deflected. Another chance for DeCesare. Stopped by Alexander in the slot. Now DeCesare's in the crease. Slow to get up as Flack brings it forward. Pass across to Kuzman. Broken up there by Zebedee as the Canadians will come back the other way. It's Nardi coming in. Drops it off. DeCesare towards the net. Stopped by Alexander. Big chance there. It was DeCesare to Zebedee. Pinio was up there as well. Here's Krieger, drops it off to Flack. Krieger back to Flack, shot scores. Oh boy, what a sequence of events. Excitement on both sides, back and forth action, and it ends with a Rangers goal. It's Tyler Flack who picks it up. Back the other way after DeCesare was stopped up by Alexander. The Rangers put it all the way back in, and Flack finishes it off with 9.35 left to go. It's 4-1 for North York. Jason Pinio coming in with Jackson and Violo. Gives it off. Jackson trying to get a shot away. Rudikov knocked into him. Rangers will come back the other way and it's Brandon Yemans. Yemans coming in, makes a move, crashing towards it. That scores. What a goal. Brandon Yemans putting on a little show for his new team and a team that he's seen far too many times with a member as the, as the Chargers and Yemans registers a goal there as he skated right in. Good move between the legs as he scoots it by Christian Mattiacci. And the Rangers have another chance to score on the power play. Mazios back to the line to Reese. Reese sends it back over to O'Hara. O'Hara down low now to Hampton. 
Hampton back out to Reese at the line, waiting for a gap. He'll pass it now over to Maziar's. Right back out. Reese takes a shot, blocked by Ciccolini, rolling puck towards the net. Rangers have it wrapped around in the slot. O'Hara trying to get a shot away. He can't. It's knocked down by Nardi. Boy, O'Hara went around for a big shot and ended up falling on his own release. Falls picked off that puck as it's down near the line. Brought in now by Jason Pinio. Coming in towards the net. Pinio with a nice move. Stop by Alexander who was able to get a piece of that as a puck now freed out to Yemans coming up. Yemans takes a look at the scoreboard, trying to come in, passes it across, Brimmer in the slot scores. With 13 and a half seconds left to go, Yemans looking up at the clock, he knew how much time he had and he slides it across to his lineman. Austin Brimmer scores on the power play, six to one Rangers. With 13 and a half seconds left to go, that is gonna do it for this matinee here at Scotiabank Pond.